In this tutorial, we'll explore workload models and user types. Silk Performer offers six predefined workload models increasing, steady state, dynamic, all day, queuing, and verification. We'll select increasing workload first. We'll accept the default timings for the workload. Now let's adjust the number of maximum virtual users and sessions per peak hour for the user types we created in the previous tutorial. Depending on your workload requirements, you can either enter the maximum number of virtual users per user type or define the maximum number of sessions you want Silk Performer to execute per hour. Note the bandwidth requirements for your workload in the rightmost column. We'll accept the changes. And here you can see our edited workload has been added to the project. Let's rename the workload increasing to differentiate it from the others we'll create. An easy way of creating a new workload is to copy an existing workload. We'll name this workload Steady. Here are the user types we created in the previous tutorial. Let's edit the user types that are assigned to this workload. Let's say that this workload won't include iPhone users. We'll disable the user type in this workload, but we'll leave it in just in case we need to re-enable it later for test runs. Let's create a dynamic workload type now. And we'll edit how the user types are assigned to this workload model. Finally, let's increase the maximum number of Internet Explorer users to 10. For your own tests, you may want to set much higher limits for the maximum number of virtual users. Thanks for watching.